Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Reka Fadilia Levantio, 5th semester of mathematics education student in UEN Syarif Hidayatullah, Jakarta Now, we are going to learn about parallel lines, especially about parallel lines equations and formula is Before we begin, let's look at the following picture please What do you see guys? Of course, there's a house formed by lines Which lines of this house are parallel? If we focus on these vertical lines, then we can find that the lines are parallel to each other. If there is vertical lines, of course, then the next horizontal lines, right? Do you see parallel horizontal lines? Yes, here, here is horizontal lines that parallel to each other. But what about these lines? Yes, they are not parallel. We call it with perpendicular lines. So, when we can say two lines are parallel, two lines are said to be parallel when they lay in the same plane and do not intersect even if they are extended indefinitely. This is the example of parallel lines in a coordinate plane form. If we have line A and line B, they are can be applied vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. Now, we must to know first thing that every straight line has an equation. The equation is y equals m times x plus c, where m is the slope and c is the y intercept. The value of m determines the slope or gradient and tells us how steep the line is. So, if we have two straight lines, then there will be two lines equations. For the first equation is for line P, where y equals m1 times x plus c1. And the second equation is for line Q, where y equals m2 times x plus c2. If the slopes are the same, the lines are parallel. If the slopes are different, the lines are not parallel. This is the parallelized formula. To write briefly that the lines P and Q are parallel, we use symbols like this. The line P is parallel to the line Q or P and Q are parallel as a simple like that let's get into a simple example problem then how to check whether a straight line R with the equation Y equals X plus 3 will be parallel to the straight line as they pass through the points A 1.2 and B 2.3 let's find out For line R and line S to be parallel, they must have the same slope. From the equation line R, Y equals X plus 3, on comparing with Y equals MX plus C, we get the slope is 1. Does the other line also have slope equals 1? From point A 1.2 and B 2.3, we substitute it into the equation Y equals MX plus C. As a result, for point A, we got Y equals MX plus C. 2 equals M multiplied by the X value of point A which is 1 plus C. So an equation is formed 2 equals m plus c and for point b y equals mx plus c 3 equals m multiplied by the x value of point b which is 2 plus c so an equation is from 3 equals 2m plus c then we can eliminate these two equations guys equations of 2 equals m plus c minus equation of 3 equals 2m plus c 2 minus 3 equals negative 1 m minus 2m equals negative m absolutely c was finished negative 1 equals negative m negative divided by negative 
So, M equals 1. It turns out that the line S through points 1.2 and 2.3 also has a slope M equals 1. Using the parallel formula, for lines to be parallel, M1 equals M2 equals 1. Hence, line R and line S are parallel. Next for another example. Find the slope of a line that is parallel to the line is 12x plus y plus 90 equals 0. This is a very pr simple problem, right? Let's start with equation of the given line is 12x plus y plus 90 equals 0. On re-engineering, we get y equals negative 12x minus 90. On comparing with y equals mx plus c, we get the slope is negative 12. By the parallel formula, for lines to be parallel, their slope are equal. Therefore, the slope of every line parallel to this line would have to be m equals negative 12. Hence, the slope of the line parallel to the given line is negative 12. So, that's it guys for my today's video about parallelance equation and formula. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. If you have some questions, feel free to discuss on the comment below. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you.